Okay, so today I'm going to be pairing up two of my brown recluse spiders. So this female I've been raising for a few months now, I caught her as a sub-adult, and the male I've raised from a teeny tiny little sling. Um, so he is mature now, so I figured why not go ahead and pair them up. So here I've put him in, and for the first... I don't know. There's only a few seconds. He just sits here still trying to figure out his bearings and I guess figure out what's going on. So I just messed with him. I had to edit out about a minute of uh, footage there before he finally got the hint and started to uh, started to strum on the webbing. So she notices pretty much right away and is reacting by just little twitches, nothing big. Um, he gets more aggressive in his strumming and uh, approaches her. And she's going to turn around to face him, and he's going to get a little bit scared at first. So he touched her leg, and here she comes to turn around. Down. Well, then he backs up a little bit, and he starts playing faster. Playing or strumming, I guess, is the word I should use. Um, she begins to kind of shake her abdomen a little bit and starts moving her legs in like a squeezing pattern. And uh, that, I guess, gives him the go ahead that that she is interested. So he, he moves his way in here. So he's taking his uh, pedipalps and kind of caressing hers a little bit while he's using those second set of legs and first set of legs to hold her legs apart and backwards, I guess, to keep them from closing in on him. Uh, she's not 100% receptive right here, so he, he backs away. Okay, and now watch. She's going to start doing her little twitching. And then she actually approaches him. All right now, he immediately comes right back in. This time, a bit more aggressive. You can see that they have almost, uh, they have a very similar leg span here. Well, he's almost fully stretched out and she's not quite, but I, I don't know if that's, if they're comparing, but she raises her body up and he goes under and you can see that the abdomen is kind of wiggling and rolling side to side. So that's because he's taking his pedipalps and actually inserting them into her um, uh, epigynum, <laughs> I guess is the technical term for it. Um, so that should have been, he, he's deposited some sperm there. So he's going to back up. And he kind of just goes through the same process again. And um, she's still receptive, still approaching. He's a little bit more apprehensive now since he's got the He's got the uh, post mating clarity right now, and he's thinking about what he what he's doing and the risks that he's taking here. But when a girl shows interest, you don't turn her down, I guess. So he comes straight back in, thinking about it, just sizing up, and she's receptive a second time. She she raises herself up here in just a second and allows him to fertilize her a second time. She's raising now. There you go. Arms are folded back, or legs are folded back, I guess. And there's the second mating. So technically, I'm not sure if he's using both pedipalps each time, or if he's just fertilizing with one and then the other. I'm not really sure what was going on underneath there. I couldn't see it. But by the way, the abdomen was rolling back and forth. It looked like he was going with both, both times. So here she is. So this is the the third time and the final time that she actually allows him to uh, to mate. So this one, he, he's 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 still pretty, you know, anxious to get in there, I guess. But if you watch, she's actually going to take her legs, her first two legs, and she's going to start to try to trap him in there. And uh, here she goes. So you can see that she's about to grab him and oh, and he gets away. So 
all in all, it was pretty cool to watch this happen. Um, not a, not as quite as nerve wracking as when tarantulas mate, but it was cool. <laughs>